El Paso and Hudspeth counties are home to a dozen school districts, ranging in size from over 60,000 students in our largest urban district to 70 students in one of our smallest rural towns. We are Canutillo. Excitement about education in our region has gone viral with our youth. Students are enrolled in career paths with more earning potential than ever before. Change the title on the histogram, change the y-axis, change the x-axis label. I was just been introduction to engineering. For my career, I want to be an aerospace engineer, so using that class would start me into the path I want. It's 30 seconds, right? Well, as an EMT right now, my first rotation is actually on Friday, but like I have had clinical rotations because of this program in junior year, and I've seen the emergency room. It's helped me out to understand that I actually like this, and it's actually like, it made me more in love with the things that I do right now. This is helpful because we are in a college course. This is a college class for us. So we do get five credit hours for college because we are working with EPCC. It's just beneficial for all of us. Our region is home to dozens of magnet schools and early colleges offering specialized certifications and CTE courses. These accelerated programs jumpstart students' careers. Preparing students for both college and a career is not a new concept. Our Region 19 school systems have been the catalyst for thousands of outstanding students to achieve their dreams. Oh, 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 oh. As a kid growing up in El Paso, I loved experimenting with everything. Oh, 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 oh. Taking things apart and putting them back together. And this is what I do as a research scientist in New York City. I use my knowledge of biology and my creativity to dissect and solve problems related to diseases of the blood and cancer. I'm living my dream. I'm a scientist. Hi, I'm Daisy Lucero and I love technology. Growing up as a little girl in El Paso, Texas, I remember I found my passion for computers. I received my first computer when I was only five years old. After that, I started using animation, creating my own videos, and even creating my own websites. Technology was something that unleashed my creativity. I still do this every day as a software developer for General Motors. I'm living my dream, and so can you. Our districts offer a wide range of relevant career education opportunities. Well, students' exploration actually starts in elementary school. Uh, all elementary schools have career fairs uh, each and every year, uh, bring business and industry people, even, even our teachers uh, and the advanced students from our programs attend some of the uh, career fairs. So students get an exposure to uh, what's available to them when they, when they get older. In middle school, they get to take a class uh, called Exploring Careers. It's actually in our eighth grade where they choose a pathway. We've uh, added a uh, component. It's called our uh, Career Awareness Showcase. Uh, we've had it for two years now, and it's for students fifth through eighth grade. Uh, we bring business and industry individuals who uh, can talk about our programs, our advanced kiddos. Uh, we spend a whole morning, students through breakout sessions can explore uh, the different career areas that they're, they're um, interested in. All students are provided opportunities to participate in a CTE program of study, which will promote leadership, develop technical skills, and a seamless transition to post-secondary education and or work. The bite. What am I checking bite with? Articulating paper. Very good. You remember. Go. 
For many students, certification through the CTE program will help them reach even higher education goals. Beside the skill, they want your knowledge as well. They want a bit of both because that's what they're hiring now. It's not so much about your degree, it's about having a degree and knowing what you're doing, having skills in it. The, my teacher's out of high school, he says that we will never see minimum wage. Two students that just graduated last year, just last year, two students are making $20 an hour. Now, how many of you guys would like to make $20 an hour out of high school? Now everybody's hands starts raising up, right? My, um, my master's license, which I can, when I earn that, I become, I, I can start my own business, basically. I will not pursue as an electrician, but I, want, I do want to become an electrical engineer. So either way, if I don't become an engineer, I can fall back on this easily. All dreams are possible with districts implementing career clusters, recommended by Achieve Texas. Career and technical education are a vital component of a high school education. It is an invaluable opportunity for career exploration, career preparation, and leadership development. And with House Bill 505 that passed two years ago, that opened the door for our students to take dual credit earlier. They can take it as a freshman. Before House Bill 505, they couldn't take dual credit until their junior year. So if they're ready to start taking dual credit classes their freshman year, then we can facilitate that. Uh, criminal justice is a four-year program where students can work towards the, uh, an associate's degree. Now that's all plus regular dual credit where students are taking core academic courses preparing uh, to, to go on to college. And hopefully they'll get 15 to 30 credits by the time they leave and maybe they'll get a year of college out of the way. In collaboration with businesses and post-secondary institutions, the CTE program promotes advanced skills for competitive salaries in high-demand careers. That injection of real world along with the uh, academic pursuit and the curriculum, uh, we find is a, a, a nice blend of success for the students. We think it gives them a great head start. We've uh, cultivated excellent partnerships uh, here in El Paso. We find willing partners in the public and private sector uh, here in the community uh, over the last several years. Uh, specifically, as a member of the El Paso Collaborative for Academic Excellence with uh, Dr. Natalicio, Dr. Sorata, uh, the uh, superintendents of uh, Islada, uh, Socorro, and uh, El Paso Independent School Districts. Um, as well as Dr. Rigetti, Executive Director of Region 19, uh, and uh, the whole team over at UTEP and EPCC that support them. Um, Richard Dayub, the CEO of the Greater El Paso Chamber of Commerce, uh, and I uh, really are able to focus on a public and private sector basis to uh, understand some of the factors and some of the initiatives that we need to key on and drive for success. Yeah, what it means is that we're all headed in the same direction. It's a lot of collaboration under Dr. Gita and, and his leadership and with the team at Region 19, uh, the team at the college, the team at the university, all of the different school districts. We're all headed in the same direction of really working hard to increase the educational attainment level of this region. We serve graduates of all school districts in this region and we try to serve them very, very well. To do that, we also have been the single most productive producer of teachers in this region. And so it's a kind of closed circle. Our students are the products of the schools. The teachers that we graduate are the teachers who prepare those same students. So it's a closed circle. And what this means to us is that we can do a far better job now by working um, to serve the interests of everyone in the region and we're very, very proud of the teachers who are in the schools, who are UTEP graduates. And we're also very proud of the students who are graduating from area districts across the entire Region 19 who are coming to us as our students now. They're coming in greater numbers and they are coming better prepared than they ever have been before. We're doing a lot of work right now on analyzing data and Having access to student information coming from early childhood education 
through the university. These are our shared students, so we work with all of them. And to have a single source of information is extremely important. And we've been able to do much better work having these data than not. So um, I, Dr. Aguirre has been a wonderful partner um, at Region 19 because he understands the importance of data and has been very um, creative in working with us on um, accessing this kind of information. Students enrolled in CTE programs have rigorous academic schedules. I'm taking AP English Lit. Um, um, taking? We're taking AP English Lit, dual pre-cal, AP Biology, and also dual credit uh, government. So there is extensive advising that takes place um, for our early college high school students out um, at the early colleges. And part of uh, the work that we're doing um, actually together, um, again, through our early college high school academic success center here at the university, is that we've uh, developed an academy for um, the administrators and for the counselors to come to the university um, and learn about the different majors that are available, the different requirements that are necessary so that when they go back and are talking to the students that they really provide necessary information that really helps students understand and decide the courses that are going to be applicable to their degree plan here at the university. Students in regional districts can enroll in various advanced courses such as advanced placement courses, IB courses, dual credit courses, early college, Students simultaneously earn a high school degree and one to two years of college credits, all tuition free. I graduated from UTEP in 2013, and prior to that I graduated from Mission Early College High School in 2010. It was really tough, it, it wasn't easy, but it was what I wanted to do, you know, I got, I got the opportunity to take life drawing classes, design classes, things that really interested me. And I was in an atmosphere with, you know, people that had been doing this for a while, and you know I was, I was the youngest one, but I think it's about maturity level and it's about you know working hard. Coming from the community college to UTEP, I think it wasn't like a very big difference because I did have very demanding professors at EPCC, you know. So when I got here, I already knew what to expect. After I got my associates, before even graduating from high school. Uh, they would bring me in a school bus to UTEP. You know, there was also a financial incentive because I wouldn't have to pay for college. My parents wouldn't have to pay for college. So that was, you know, I think one of the driving factors that why not, why not go to college? And after I graduated, I right away I started uh, working at creative agencies. So I was doing graphic design, I was doing logos, I was doing websites, and you know, it's all you know what I went to school to study so it allowed me to gain experience and land this job at the university. So there is a, a, a lot of recruitment efforts that take place um, out in our K-12 uh, community, in our Region 19 community. And part of uh, what we uh, try to inform students about is this opportunity to come into programs that are high quality, that are rigorous, that are going to allow them to accelerate their education. They're going to be able to save time, they're going to be able to, to save money, and really prepare themselves to be uh, able to handle the rigors of then university work by way of coming into these programs um, at, at the high school or uh, at the early college um, high school. And that the preparation that they will receive through their dual credit classes, again, whether at the high school or at the community college, is quality instruction. And we see that by way of GPA, where our dual credit students um, outperform our non-dual credit students. We um, conducted an exploratory analysis here at the university um, in the summer of 2016. And by way of GPA, found that our students that come in with dual credit excel, have a higher GPA than students that do not bring in those dual credits 
Uh, so we really, like I said, want to support um, the community um, all together so that students understand that this is a great benefit um, for them. Um, and we have um, accepted over 150,000 college credit hours over the last 10 years for students uh, with, uh, that come with uh, dual credit. So uh, the other thing that we have seen is that our post-graduate rate um, is at 42% for non-dual credit students and at 65% for dual credit students. So they're pursuing graduate coursework after they complete their bachelor's degree and so it's something that we're very proud of too. As well, I strongly encourage any student in the El Paso community who has the opportunity to take dual credit classes, to pursue them, as well as the IB programs and the AP classwork. Those are critical. Each of those, in their own right, afford the student the opportunity to then enter college with that coursework behind them, therefore to help their families in paying for their education, irrespective of what level of economic environment they live in. It's a benefit to all students and all of their families. Region 19 students earned over 61,000 hours of college credit in the year 2015-2016 academic school year. Based on the average expense for tuition, students and families saved over $20 million thanks to the dual credit opportunities offered by our schools. This is a huge step forward to closing the college readiness gap and meeting the state 60 by 30 Texas goal. The most fundamental reason why we have an interest in this is the overall success in the community, uh, the uh, economic uh, impact uh, to uh, incomes over a lifetime by completing a college education um, can't be understated. And to elevate the number of college graduates that you have in a community uh, and to support uh, Texas's uh, uh, push to 60 by 30, uh, where 60% uh, of uh, um, adults, uh, working adults from the ages of 18 to 34 have either a certificate of uh, professional certification, an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree to get the 60%. We need to reach a lot of people to want to achieve that. So uh, to be aspirational, we expect the community to be aspirational to achieve that 60 by 30, and we want to support that in all ways. The technological world is spinning fast, and our region students have the compass to steer towards success. College and career readiness are empowering students in Region 19 to take control of their destiny with bold strides.